Well, we're underneath the hood of another 1968 Chevelle. Uh, it's a 138 code, so it did start life as an SS big block car. It's an IV coated engine in it, which would make it a three and a quarter horse 396, which would be the base engine for a 1968 uh, SS car. Um, this particular car has power steering, it has power brakes. Uh, it appears to be uh, the original intake manifold and original motor in the car. I'm not sure the engine uh, numbers. I'm, I'm going to say the motor does not match engine wise. I didn't check it yet to see, but I'm sure it will show on a sheet whether it is or isn't. Uh, it does have, uh, appears to be the original quadrajet carburetor that this car would have been released with. It has a new battery in it. it has a big four pass, huge radiator that these guys came with. Um, it has a solid mount, uh, five blade, fan, six, six blade flan, fan, uh, correct style shroud that goes along with this uh, heavy duty radiator, new alternator, uh, new hoses on it. The uh, heat is still connected to the uh, passenger compartment with this vehicle also. Oh boy. Uh, new power steering hoses on it. Um, set of long tube headers on this guy. Instead of the cast iron manifolds, uh, this one has a set of long tube headers. They appear to be about an inch and seven eighths. I'm going to call them inch and seven eighths. They might even be a two inch, but I'm going to call them inch and seven eighths header. Um, header core is, the header uh, panel is not disruptive in any way, so the car's never been in any kind of trauma, uh, accidents whatsoever. Uh, really a nice engine compartment. Everything is uh, semi-flat black on the sides, just the way it should be. Uh, the uh, cowl tag is still uh, uh, intact on the uh, firewall. Uh, correct air cleaner, correct valve fan covers that would have come on this car in 1968. Um, black and underneath the hood, just the way it should be. This is aftermarket insulation uh, as opposed to the woolly type that would have been original. This is actually uh, little longer lasting and it actually adds a little bit of pizzazz to the uh, engine compartment. Dual stage master cylinder. Um, everything in this engine compartment is nice and clean and fresh as it could possibly be. Uh, no leaks evident whatsoever on the uh, valve pan covers or the intake manifold, timing chain, area, water pump, nothing. There. Everything appears to be just as nice and dry and clean as you could ever hope. Has a conventional uh, set of wires on it. They're not high silicone, I don't think. Yes, they are. They're a set of silicone wires and it does have an HEI distributor in it, which would have been an updated distributor for this guy. Um, nice clean engine compartment. Three and a quarter, 396 in a 138 code Chevelle. We'll go around the rest of it and see what we can show you. Hi, you're at Hangsters at Daytona Beach, Florida and uh, we have a guest today on the floor, which is a 138 code 396 1968 Chevelle. Uh, this guy is all red, um, no stripe on it. Uh, could have been a strike the leap uh, car from the uh, uh, get go. We don't really know. We don't have paperwork for it to prove one way or the other. But we're going to go over the aesthetics on the car and show you what we can see and what we can find on this vehicle for you. So let's get started. Gap around the hood to the fender to the uh, Front header panel, just as nice as you ever want to find. You can see that in the in the video here. It's just really, really, really a nice fitment on the car. Um, paint on the car is definitely uh, above driver quality. It is not a show quality paint job, but it's certainly much better than this car ever was produced with. No, uh, really good looking paint job. Really great looking car. The uh, anodized. That's loose. Why is that loose? We have to address that put a screw under here where it's supposed to be to hold it in place. That one's held in. Trim around the uh, headlights. Anyway, the anodized aluminum around these headlights is absolutely gorgeous. Could not be any nicer. The uh, aluminum around the grill area, same way, just as nice and sweet as could possibly be. The grill itself, <coughs> really nice, SS396 because that's what it is. Um, definitely got to address that. I can't go that way. Um, bumper fitment. Very, very nice. It's nice this way. 
Um, it, it, you're not going to get it much better. I mean, that bumper is it, it's not precise. It could go that way just a hair, but certainly well within production standards. And uh, I don't know that we'll even mess with it because it's, it's fitting everywhere. It's not touching. We're probably an eighth of an inch off, if that. Now we're getting really picky. Uh, chrome on the front bumper. There's a few like brush marks on the very part of it here. Looks like some more on through the uh, years. Put their uh, feet up on it here, maybe. Uh, certainly, you got to look to see it, but there are some light uh, scratches from, I'm sure, someone's shoes up here through the years. Uh, side or, uh, parking lights in the front. Uh, amber, just nice and clean. No dents in the bumper. A little tiny dingy here. Very, very light dinghy. License plate uh, frame still intact on the front bumper. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice front bumper. It's the original front bumper to the car, I'm sure. Uh, nice front end. Tighten that headlight. Probably leave the bumper alone. It's not even worth messing with for an eighth of an inch that you're not going to see anyway. And uh, the paint on the car is really, really nice. Much better than a driver quality paint job. Um, let's go along the side, see what we can find for you there. Okay, driver's side of our SS396. Again, 396 designation, side marker lamp, no patina, really, really nice as can be. Uh, trim piece is really nice. Again, the fitment of this car is very nice. This, we've had a few Chevelles lately that were really spot on. I can't believe these cars are fitting actually that well. I know they didn't fit that way from the factory, so someone spent a lot of time on these cars uh, to make them fit to that degree. Uh, trim around the front fender, the front fender, how about the windshield? Trim around the front windshield, uh, really, really nice, uh, no dents or marks in it. Uh, I can't tell if this kind of looks like a tinted window. It doesn't have the fade on top, but it appears to be tinted glass. I'm not sure what that is, but we're going to call it tinted anyway. Um, conventional, original equipment arms, aftermarket blades. Uh, there are a set of like Anco blades on the vehicle. Uh, dashboard is nice on top. There's no uh, distortion, uh, no marks, no cracks whatsoever in the vinyl. Uh, VIN number just as nice and legible as you'd ever want to find. The uh, metal part of the dashboard transitions to the base of the windshield. Very, very nice and clean. Someone's done a nice job of, uh, of bringing that up to originality there. That's very, very nice. Uh, it's a monotone car. It's all red, no vinyl top. Uh, it's a good looking car. Top itself, there's no marks in the paint, no uh, dents or dings or no dinghies from anything falling on it uh, through the years. It's a good looking, uh, good looking paint job on this car. Trim around the uh, wing area, just as nice as can be. The chrome is really nice. These are usually oxidized somewhat. This is not. Um, drip rail, no dinghies, no marks. A nice fitment of the uh, glass, side uh, glass to the uh, uh, rear. Uh, really nice, nice soft rubber. All these seals are nice as they could possibly be. A set of aftermarket uh, wipes, whiskers that are very nice and uh, fresh feeling. Um, door handle, I'm gonna call it an original door handle. I don't think it's been replaced, but it doesn't need to be. The chrome has a little tiny bit of you can see a little bit of wear, but you really have to look to see it. Certainly, the, you know, it matches the, the chrome on the front bumper. I would not change it. Uh, paint on the door, where it goes down to the uh, rocker panel. Everything is nice as you'd ever want to find on this car. Uh, the door to the uh, quarter panel, again, the paint and, and the fit is just could not be any better than it is. Tin. Um, no Bondo. You can feel that there's nothing been done, nothing worked in the uh, fender well area. Uh, just as nice as you'd ever want to find. Um, really a nice car. It, uh, it's got tinted glass from what I can see the whole way around this thing. The backlight also. Trim around the back window. No dents or dingies whatsoever in it. It's a cell panel the same way. There's no deviations. You can't see where anything's been worked through the years. Hat rack is absolutely brand new. There's no way that uh, there's any fade, uh, uh, distortion, anything to it. Just as nice as it could possibly be. Set of BFG, uh, white letter tires. 
kind of like everybody's choice at this uh, point in time to put on these uh, collector cars, and a set of SS road wheels that were being optioned on this car uh, in 1968. A fantastic uh, wheel and tire combination to really accentuate the red and the black on the, uh, on the rest of this car. Black along the bottom, of course, that's just the way it should be for 1968. Uh, 69, they did away with that. Um, no trim piece there either. <clears throat> uh, this is a fantastic fitting car. Uh, the front end, other than that uh, one little basil that's loose around the headlight, um, the, 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 the fitment on the uh, driver's side of this car, I mean, it's just laser straight down the side. Uh, there's no warps or warbles or anything or deviations going down the side of this car. It's as nice a um, 396 car that, uh, that you will ever find. Uh, we're going to look around the back so we can find something there for you. Okay, back end of our little SS 396 Chevelle, little red guy here. Uh, the deck lid. Again, the fitment of this deck lid and the fit and the finish and everything, uh, it's the same as it was up front. It could not possibly fit any better than it does. It's really, really a great fit and call. We've had a few of these spot on lately. We've been really doing well with them. I, I, I don't know, just by chance, you know, but someone's really spent some time fitting these cars back together when they restore them. But the paint itself is much, much better than a uh, show quality paint job or driver quality paint job, but it is not a show quality foot deep base coat, clear coat. Uh, paint job. It is uh, semi-flat black through the sides here, the way it should be, SS396 designation. Tail light chrome is just as nice and sweet as you'll ever find. Um, and again, the alignment of everything, if you look, everything lines up just as it should. Back bumper. Bumper fitment is really, really nice. Um, chrome the same way. I really don't see anything. There's some very, very light. I don't know what they could possibly be from. I know the front bumper had to be some um, someone putting their shoes up on it. This you can't really see it. You probably hit it with a buffer and it would go away. It's really not what you consider scratches or marks or anything. The chrome is just nice as you'd uh, ever hope for, and it appears to be the original bumper also. Now also, the uh, correct style extension is going out the back um, right before the uh, uh, bumper. Um, Backup lights nice and clean and clear as you'd ever hope to find them. Again, the chrome on the bumper is very, very nice and so is the fitment. It, uh, it's a well-fit bumper, uh, great condition, and everything aligns on the back of this car just as though it should. One more side to go. Okay, last side of our little Chevelle here. Um, again, no tin, no Bondo, uh, just as nice as you'd, uh, you'd want to find. Nice tin quarter panels, just the way they should be. Um, really nice paint on this car. It's it, it just that everything fits together as it should, and just a really nice, nice paint job on the car. Trim around the back window. No dents, no marks whatsoever in it. Just as nice as can be. Cell panel area. There's no indications of anything ever being uh, replaced on it. Uh, drip rail. Same as the other side, no marks, no dingies. Um, wipes whiskers, same as the other side. Fresh and nice as can be. Again, check your uh, window fitment, uh, front window to the rear, to the uh, uh, top seal. Just as nice as you'd ever want to find. Quarter panel to the door. Again, our molding that runs the entire uh, length between the wheel wells, actually behind the wheel wells also. Nice alignment on that, flat black, semi-flat black underneath it. Uh, this door handle, also I'm going to call an original door handle, shows a little tiny bit of wear, but nothing that would ever dictate that you would replace it. Again, look at the fitment on this thing. You could not find uh, better gaps and, and better fitment. Uh, door to the quarter, to the front fender, to the hood. Totally amazing. Uh, wing area, the same thing uh, as the other side. Actually, the rubbers on this uh, had to have been replaced too because uh, the other side are nice and resilient. And I know all the uh, pieces around the windows are all new. Again, uh, front fender back where we started. Again, 396 side marker light, no patina. All the trim is as nice as can possibly be. The fitment in this car is also really exemplary. 
Um, these road rollers really make this uh, car stand out. Most of these cars have rally wheels or somebody would put an aftermarket set of wheels on. It's not the case here. This is the original equipment style road wheel that would have been an option on this car. Kelsey Hayes, I believe, is who the manufacturer of these wheels were. Uh, they originated, of course, with Chrysler back in the uh, middle 60s, but uh, GM uh, caught on with them in uh, uh, 60, I think 68 was the first year. Um, tinted glass, a nice option car, steering and brakes, great color combination, 138 code, IV code engine, three and a quarter, 396, um, nice straight car, original tin, from what we can tell, we'll be under the car to do a, a, a undercarriage presentation shortly, but uh, uh, this is as nice a, a nominally priced uh, 138 code, real 396 uh, Chevelle that you could ever find, and it still retains uh, uh, at least an error correct uh, uh, IV three and a quarter uh, 396 engine that would be correct for this car. Um, great color combination, I like the wheels, I like everything about the car. Uh, it's something that uh, you need to take a look at. Uh, it's not going to be a high, high-end price league car, uh, but it's going to be a nominally priced uh, car for what it is here at Hanksters in Daytona Beach, Florida. It's one of many Chevelles and other cars that we do have available. Uh, uh, again, we try to do a presentation of these vehicles. We do a walk-around, we do an undercarriage, we do an interior, we do an engine, we do everything, and a drive to show you uh, all the amenities of the car and show you we're not hiding anything. We want to show you everything. I did pick out a couple little dingy things that uh, you know need to be fixed there. That uh, headlight basil, the bumper a little bit uh, on that other Chevelle that I just did. Anything that I see I point out. Um, and it's something for us to go ahead and address before we ship the car too. So um, again, you know, we're trying to do as much as we possibly can information-wise to, to forward that to you so that you can make a decision on your purchase of the vehicles. At Hanksters, we're not trying to hide anything. We're trying to show you everything. I mean, absolutely everything. If I miss something, I apologize. I try to do as, as possibly uh, in the amount of time I'm allotted, which is about a half an hour video, which you've got to think about it. That's the, size of, that's the uh, a time of a regular uh, television show right now. But we try to show you everything. So look at this guy because it's not going to be an expensive 396 car, but it's going to be one of the best ones that you'll ever put your hands on. Hangsters, Daytona Beach. Okay, Red Chevelle, um, SS396, 138 code, IV engine, three and a quarter horse, 396, automatic steering and brake car. Um, really a nice car. This thing is uh, solid as a rock everywhere. Uh, headliner, just as tight as can possibly be, dome light functioning as it should. Uh, front seats and back seats uh, reupholstered and nice, nicely padded so they, there, there's no sag whatsoever in them. Uh, really nice upholstery job on this vehicle. Um, it has uh, all new uh, uh, window cranks, front and rear in this vehicle. Hat rack we mentioned was new on the outside. The uh, door panels themselves are just as fresh and nice and clean as can possibly be. They still retain their original type uh, molded armrests. Uh, there are no armrests in the rear. That was an option on these vehicles. This one uh, is the lead of that. Uh, it doesn't appear that there are seat belts. Wait a minute. Yes, there are. There are seat belts in the rear also. Seat belts in the front, seat belts in the rear. They're not pulled out, but I can feel them with my fingies. They're there. So we will get them out, and uh, I guess we'll show them. Devin will have to take some pictures of them, showing that they are out. Um, <clears throat> but they do have seatbelts in the rear. Uh, dashboard itself, uh, again, nice as can possibly be. The, the steering wheel. Uh, no cracks that I can. I, maybe it's been repaired here a couple times, but I can't really even tell. Uh, there are no cracks in it at this point. Um, it is the correct SS wheel for a 68 car. Uh, nice fresh looking uh, dashboard in it. Uh, it has a quadrant of gauges here, your fuel, amp, temp, and oil uh, all uh, uh, present. Um, staple shifter just the way it should be. Nice chrome on the console. Uh, again, console uh, has a uh, glove box in it. Uh, carpeting just as sweet as it could possibly be. It's a, a loop style carpeting that would go with this style interior. Uh, SS396 designations on the doors and on the uh, uh, dashboard. Um, sun visors, uh, the stitching's not coming loose. It's nice and fresh as can be. 
the mirror itself, I don't detect any, uh, and it is a day-night mirror too, and the, uh, the, the mirror itself is very, very nice condition. I don't see anything, it even has a rear light here on the console that's functioning as it should. This car is a very, very nice car inside, as it was on the outside. Uh, we have to do a drive yet, and we have to do a uh, undercarriage presentation for you. But so far, this car is a, uh, a really, really great uh, representation of a 68 uh, 396 Chevelle. Um, take a look at it. Hangsters, Daytona Beach, Florida. Okay, 68, 138 code, Chevelle, big block car. Um, horn does not work. Correct SS steering wheel, though. Okay, wipers are functioning as they should. Looking good. Okay, left turn signal working as it should. Right turn signal working as it should. Uh, fuel gauge showing a little over half a tank of fuel, so it does function. And the other three are idiot lights, and there are no auxiliary gauges, uh, just the three idiot lights that do function. We have a radio that functions, that it works, but um, there mustn't be any speakers hooked up to it. Because it does function, it does work, but it doesn't make any noise. So, um, I'm going to guess that it uh, uh, needs a set of speakers on it somewhere. Well, let's go for a ride and see how this guy runs. Nice firm shifts. Feels good. Let's see what it goes like down the road here, but it uh, feels like a nice solid car. Uh, doesn't feel like there's any issues. At the Certainly, aesthetically, this thing's about as nice as one as you could ever find. I mean, the paint to fit to finish, the uh, interior, undercarriage, everything is as sweet as can be. There's definitely no deterioration anywhere, no rot or anything underneath the car that we could see, which you'll see in the undercarriage video or on the outside of the car either. I mean, this car's nice tight headliner, the interior's nice, the uh, whole car's that way. It's a really nice straight car. Okay, we're going down the road in our little Chevelle, and it just runs as sweet and nice as it could possibly be. Um, okay, no traffic coming, no hands on the steering wheel. Going straight as an arrow, not an issue whatsoever. Let's try it with uh, brake, no hands, and see what happens. No problems at all. Pretty throaty sound from the uh, uh, glass back offers that are on it. Not objectionable, but a little louder than your average uh, Chevelle. Sounds good though. The speedometer functioning as it should. You know, we're 55 mile an hour and a 35 at this point, so it's uh, working just fine. Nice tight running car, very nice uh, tight steering on it. There's absolutely no play in it whatsoever. Turn around here and turn this thing loose a little bit. And see how it runs. It, uh, it seems like a nice tight car. It seems like a real nice solid car. Shifts up through the gears, nice as can be, and goes down the road straight. No shakes, no shimmies, no more warbles or anything. Uh, just a real nice straight car. That's where you want to go. Let's make somebody a nice Chevelle. 68, uh, three and a quarter, 396. Uh, nice paint, nice finish. Nice car. Hi, we're underneath our 
1968 138 code, real 396 Chevelle. Um, real nice car underneath. New rubber bushings on the front sway bar. Appears to be a brand spanking new steering box and Pittman arm and can't even see with the sunlight in my eyes. Iler arm is also new. Uh, the the uh, sway bar links are new. New shocks in the front. Absolute brand spanking new heavy duty fin drum brakes in the front. Someone has just installed a new set of brakes on this uh, on this vehicle. Has a set of long tube headers, I'm going to call them inch and five eight. Nah, nah, they're more about an inch and three quarters. They're going to be about an inch and three quarter header. Um, it is a 396. Uh, no leaks whatsoever on the engine, you can see that. Original equipment type starter. No shielding over the um, uh, converter area or flywheel area, flex plate area. Um, most of the cars down south there, they eliminate that to allow air to go in there and help cool the uh, fluid in the transmission. So this one does not have it on it. Um, again, no issue. Uh, standard the cooling lines, metal lines that go uh, forward to the radiator for cooling the uh, transmission fluid. A new cable apparently on the uh, uh, turbo tranny in this vehicle. The um, let me see here. A arms in the front. Uh, it looks like the ball joints have been replaced on them. Uh, a arms are real nice and tight looking. The uh, bushings are nice and fresh looking on it. Uh, no marks whatsoever on the uh, frame structure, and this is a total perimeter frame on a Chevelle. It's a C-channel frame uh, with box channel in the front and in the rear around the uh, uh, torque box area where your uh, swing arms fit in the back. Um, jack mark here from uh, through the years, someone lifting it up and putting a jack on it or a jack stand. Same thing here. Uh, I'm going to call these uh, two in it. A quarter, maybe two and an eighth, two and a quarter pipes um, going toward the back. A three inch collector. Frame is really, really nice on this vehicle. Again, you can see no leaks on the engine, no leaks on the bell housing area, and no leaks on the transmission or the tail shaft, which also has a uh, new U joint on the drive shaft. Parking brake intact and, and functional. The floor pans in this car are undoubtedly the original pans that this car was. Uh, generated with. Uh, there's no indication of anything ever been changed or altered or uh, uh, repaired anywhere. It still has the original splatter, sound deadener, undercoating sound deadener material that uh, all the manufacturers were using at that uh, point in time. And again, the floor pan is just as sweet as you'd possibly find. And no one has made any attempt to jack it up by the floorboards either, which is another big plus on these things. Nice um, Structural bracing underneath the floor pan, just the way that it should be. Um, I don't see anything at all. Original fuel lines still intact on the uh, passenger side. Original brake lines still intact on the driver's side. None of this needs replaced. It's just as fresh and nice as you'd ever hope to find it. Uh, really great looking combination so far. You can see the oil and filter we just had changed on it. A conventional starter, not a, uh, a gear reduction. Uh, everything on this thing is dry. <coughs> Undercarriage so far, halfway through, it is uh, uh, just as nice and fresh as you'd ever want. And it is original. This is not something that's been repaired uh, or replaced or panels put on it through the uh, years. A nice undercarriage with a lot of originality so far. we got another half to go yet. Okay, second half of our little Chevelle. And again, you can see the uh, drive shaft has new U-joints front and rear. Uh, both of them. It has a uh, set of... Uh, a glass pack mufflers on it as opposed to a reverse flow muffler, uh, which would be a standard equipment style muffler. These have a little deeper tone, a little bit of a throatier sound to them, but uh, not objectionably loud. It's still a nice, uh, a nice sounding uh, exhaust system on the vehicle. Lower arms, uh, bushings are nice and fat and uh, fresh looking in them. Uh, nice as can be. There's no jack marks whatsoever on the uh, swing arms themselves or the uh, uh, frame substructures that uh, um, are the torque boxes for those. Uh, and absolutely no deterioration at all. There's no rust, uh, no paint blisters, no scale, nothing on this vehicle anywhere. And it still, like I said, retains, even in the back part here, and floorboards in the back and trunk area. That's all still the original tin that uh, this car was produced with and uh, does not need to be replaced. It just 
as straight and nice as you would ever want. Drum brakes in the back, just to complement the ones on the front, which are finned. These are not finned. They're a conventional brake drum in the rear. New shocks in the rear also. We have new shocks in the front and in the rear. Uh, 10 volt heavy duty rear end. And I don't know if it's pausing or not, but we're going to find out real shortly. If it leaves two black marks, it's going to be pausing. Tailpipes going out of the uh, last pack. Mufflers are, I'm going to call them two and an eighth. You know, yeah, I'm going to call them two and an eighth. Uh, the springs are nice and taut yet for the uh, rear suspension. Gas tank is uh, the original gas tank that came with this car. A little bit of a crease across it there from something. You can hardly notice it. It almost looks like it was manufactured with it because it is very linear the whole way across it, but it doesn't belong there. But it, it's not going to affect the performance of this vehicle in any way. Turn down type uh, exhaust system in the back where it comes uh, down in front of the uh, uh, rear bumper. The structural brace uh, transitions over from both sides of the, uh, now it's back to a C-channel frame. It goes from a box frame right about at the middle of the gas tank back to a C-channel as it is through the center section there. Um, there's absolutely nothing on this vehicle that I can uh, uh, call a negative to. The drop downs in the quarter panels are just as fresh and nice as they were when they were put on in 68. Uh, I really can't see anything. Uh, Got a whole new round of rubber on it, all four of them. Everything appears to be uh, uh, fresh on the vehicle. So you have a, a complete original undercarriage on this vehicle with no replacement floor pans, uh, no structural work ever addressed on it whatsoever. Total drive line that does not have any leaks. You can see no leaks on the engine, bell housing area, or transmission, or the tail shaft area, or the rear end. The rear differential doesn't have any either. So we got new shocks on it also. and four brand new sneakers on it to run around on too. So um, everything underneath this uh, car is just as nice and fresh as you could ever hope for in a uh, 68 Chevelle. Uh, it's a nice car. We're going to go for a ride in it here, see how it runs, and um, give you lots of information to take a look at and make a decision on your purchase. Hangsters, Daytona Beach.